There's always a moment where they laugh and you never, never, ever thought that was a laugh. Yeah. So there's this line that the police inspector has right at the end where he says, it is all bizarrely plausible. And for some reason, which we were trying to work out, the whole audience has suddenly realised just how implausible the whole thing is. <laughs>
the guys I saw in India for Deb's part <laughs> oh, God, are me. really like the fashion in Bollywood. I think Frida will probably yeah, tell us it. Absolutely. Muscles. To be all beefed up, yeah. I wanted a more regular kind of guy, really. Puny looks, guy. It looks like. That's me. Like what we all really are if we don't spend hours in the gym every day. Yeah. So we were failing in India, to be honest, finding him. My daughter, who's 17, said, why don't you look at that guy in Skins? He's really good. Uh, which is a show she watched on British television. And that's how we found him, yeah. Jamal? God is good, bhai. God is good. And a Frida, I saw the casting director in India, Lovleen Tandon, sent me some tapes. The first time I saw her, I thought, I'll bet that's her. You sometimes get that reaction when you see actors. It certainly happened with the girl in Train Spotting. She walked in a room in a mass audition. And I thought, I thought, I'll bet that's her. Danny made a big decision to go younger with everybody. I thought Dev would be perfect for the 14-year-old Jamal. And I think the big difference was you, you made a very determined decision to go younger with everyone, which has completely paid off in the film. What happens to you is you get older yourself. You drag ages up with you, and you've got to remember, especially in India, that that kind of age, what you're experiencing is just can be extraordinary, you know? We tend to soften off the edges in the West, really. You get to 50 and you think, oh yeah, he's young, he's 30. He's not young <laughs> at all. My daughter looks at 30-year-old people and thinks, oh, boring old granddad, and they're only 30, you know? I don't think anybody ever came off badly skewed.